Welcome everyone. In this video, I am going to show what I call a horizontal trick while dealing with vertical springs. So what is the idea behind the word horizontal trick, which you don't have to use if you don't like the name. So it goes like this. If we have a horizontal spring, let's draw it like this. And of course, we have a mass attached to it to make the things a little more interesting. This is a mass. And if this is, let's say, uh, if this point is the equilibrium position, which means the net force on our object is equal to zero, that's what defines an equilibrium. Well, then we can basically uh, find energy at any point in such a manner. If this is x max, the maximum displacement from the equilibrium than energy at any other point, perhaps at this point, point one, E1 is equal to the energy at the maximum point, which will be only, uh, which will be only potential energy in this case, and that is one over two K X squared, if the spring constant is K. And of course, this is uh, X max actually, where we define X max as the distance from x naught. This is correct for a horizontal spring, and also this is equal to 1 over 2 m v1 squared, the kinetic energy of our mass at point 1, plus its potential energy at point 1. Okay, there is nothing interesting uh, uh, so far, I would say. However, what I claim for a vertical spring is that I claim we can do exactly the same thing. So if we have a vertical spring, a ceiling, and a spring is attached to it, we will, of course, have an equilibrium position, x naught, And we will uh, talk about what this equilibrium position is in a, I don't know, in five or six minutes. And if we have our maximum displacement, x max, I claim that, this is incredibly interesting, I think, the energy at some point, one, Point one can be written in the form one over two m v one squared plus one over two k displacement from x naught uh, squared so x one squared and this will be equal to one over two k x max squared. This is very interesting because notice this here. For a vertical spring, there is change in the potential energy. And not only in elastic potential energy, there is also change in the gravitational potential energy. But we never ever encounter it. There is no need to worry about gravitational potential energy in this equation. It is as if we are dealing with a horizontal spring. That's why I call it a horizontal trick. But how is this correct? How can it be possible that we don't need to worry about gravity while we're dealing with a vertical spring? Well, that is my goal in this video to show you guys. So let me erase all of this and start from the scratch. From scratch. So let's say that we have our, our spring at its natural length. This is l natural and natural length means that the spring is not compressed or not stretched it is free and of course we assume weightless spring okay that is an important assumption for this proof for this to work actually so we have our mass and it didn't stretch the spring yet not yet it didn't stretch it not yet as i said this is initial position Okay, and then when we release it, we know that we know that there will be an equilibrium position. Perhaps it will stretch it like this, and this will be the equilibrium position. Now, what defines this equilibrium position? It is the point where the net force on our object is equal to zero. So. The spring pulls upwards, gravity pulls downwards. These two should equal one another, which means a force by gravity is equal to the force of the spring. Gravitational force is mg for our purposes. And fs is going to be using Hooke's law, kx. 
this is the magnitude of that and it is going to be x naught so if we solve for x naught we actually had a formula for the equilibrium position it is mg divided by k so this is the amount that when the spring is stretched from its natural length we are at the equilibrium position if we stretch the spring by this much we are at the equilibrium so we got this and this is important for our derivation x naught is very important now let's say that we come to the maximum displacement which i will call x max okay so we have let's continue this level this is x naught and this will be x n natural length okay and this is x max so let's start with the conservation of energy and let's write the conservation of energy for two points for point one and for point two let's get started on the new page so we will have e1 is equal to e2 this is by the conservation of energy what is e1 e1 is going to be uh, so first of all there will be and actually you know what let's not do this let's do something else let's have it at any point so let's choose one at some arbitrary point perhaps this point okay this is let me do it like this sorry for the inconvenience so this is going to be x1 and this is point one okay and it could have been above or below the equilibrium position it doesn't matter at all and you can convince yourself by carrying out the exact same derivation for a case where x1 is above the equilibrium position so we have that and what will be the energy at point one well there will be a kinetic energy which is in the form one over two m v1 squared plus there will be a potential energy and actually there will be two types of those which is kinetic and uh, not kinetic gravitational and spring potential energies so if i choose oops if i choose this x max level as my height zero well then the gravitational potential energy for our point one will be mg times the height which is x max minus x1 and if you don't believe me if you are asking where did this mgh formula come from you can access that derivation from the cards right now also from the descriptions part so we got that and this is going to be added with another form of potential energy which we call spring potential energy and that is in the form 1 over 2 k then we have displacement and this displacement will be from the natural length how far the spring has been stretched from its initial length so it is going to be uh, it is going to be x1 plus x naught squared and let me explain you why i did this that's because i call x1 the displacement from the new equilibrium and x naught is the distance to the natural length okay that's why i wrote x1 plus x naught all right that is just due to the variables that i have chosen if you did a different selection then you can write different things all right and this will be equal to the energy at point two that is equal to there's only there is no gravitational potential energy we chose height as zero for that point there is no kinetic energy because x max is the turning point the mass comes to an instantaneous stop and then it will go upwards so the kinetic energy is zero due to the fact that the speed is zero there is only an elastic potential energy left and that is in the form 1 over 2 k x naught plus x max squared and again you can see this from the diagram this is x max and when we edit with when we sum x naught and x max we get the total stretch from the natural length all right 
So we will now, I want to open the parentheses and let's see if we can get some simpl simplifications. We hope to get some simplifications. So we will have the first term as it is, plus we will have the uh, second term and I will write it in a different color, mgx max minus mgx1 plus 1 over 2 kx1 squared and I am going to do the step quickly but you can pause the video and check that my math is correct. You should trust no one when it comes to calculations because you are more than capable of doing them yourself. So never trust anyone in physics and math. Check it yourself. We have k x1 x0 plus 1 over 2 k x naught squared is equal to 1 over 2 k x naught squared plus 1 over now 1 over 2 we have k x naught x max there's not enough space so let's write it below 1 over 2 k x max squared cool and we see a great thing we see that this and this cancel and this is i can tell you the Initial cancellation of many others to come. We will see more calculations. Cancellations, I mean. In about a minute, hopefully. So, let's now... Let's now... Hmm, let, let's see. What can we do here? What can we do here? We can substitute for x naught, And we know what x naught is. x naught is here. That's why we talked about it at the beginning of this video. So let's substitute for x naught. I will copy all other all the other terms and I will substitute for x naught. So we will have one over two m v one squared, and and then I am going to write this one. I can change the place of the addition. It doesn't matter. K x one squared. Then let's see. We have plus m g x max minus mgx1 then a plus kx1 i am writing this term but this time for x naught i am going to substitute mg divided by k mg divided by k cool this is equal to 1 over 2 kx max squared plus we have kx max and for and let's write it below come on there's no space i'm sad so for uh, k x max and for x naught i am again substituting mg divided by k and look at this here we see that k simplify and as a result we have the same term twice here and here it have uh, it has come on it has the opposite sign so plus minus that gives you a zero this is cancelled again wow so many cancellations and look at this there's one more cancellation case here simplify again and we have mgx max we have the same term here they are on the other side of the equality so they cancel and what is even left let me write you what is left we have one over two m v one squared plus one over two k x1 squared is equal to 1 over 2 k x max squared and this is in fact what we wanted to show as you can see we don't need to worry about gravitational potential energy at all for a vertical spring however if you're going to use this formula which i really advise that you do because it really makes calculations simpler but if you're going to use this please pay attention that x1 and x max x max are defined as displacements from the equilibrium position they are the displacements from this level okay from not from the natural length this is a very subtle difference subtle point if you are not very comfortable with this but as you use this over and over again you become acquainted to it and you really internalize it and don't make mistakes anyways this is it for this video if you have any questions please write them in the comment section i hope to see you in another video until then
Take care.